I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shoma from Come On Now, the podcast. Before I begin, let me remind you all to like, subscribe, and follow us at Come On Now Podcast at Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and at Come On Now Pod on Twitter, X. And of course, please do follow, like, subscribe our to our YouTube channel. We do appreciate the support as we continue to grow this channel and bring you the best content there is in sports with a different twist to it. So today... Draymond Green, Draymond Green, Draymond Green. As if Draymond Green's not out, outspoken enough about every topic, every player. He has no problem disrespecting players while he's doing a broadcast, which is crazy. Most recently, he said Rudy Gobert sucks while on the broadcast for TNT in their game versus the Dallas Mavericks. This is a person that TNT put on the screen, and he's saying that Rudy Gobert sucks. Not to mention, he also made his comments about the Boston Celtics, and if they don't win the championship, they're a failure. Man talks about it as if he was the reason the Golden State Warriors won their championships, and not just a piece to a puzzle. He was nothing more than the guy that passed Steph Curry the ball. But he acts like he's the reason. And if it wasn't for those rings that he won, courtesy of Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and Clay Thompson, what exactly would his career be? But most recently on the Shaq podcast, he actually was complaining about fines and how the NBA prevents players from accumulating wealth. I have to say that this is as tone deaf a comment as I've ever heard from this guy. Draymond Green is a smart guy. He actually is. So when he says stuff like he said, you know, on Shaq's podcast, it makes you sit here and wonder what the hell is going through this man's mind. Because he says the fines. He's referring to the fines in the NBA. The fines. Well, fines happen because you act like an asshole. Fines happen because you are choking players from behind. Fines happen because you kick people in the nuts. Fines happen because you chokehold people from behind. Fines happen because you can't keep your mouth shut and just play basketball without drawing technical fouls. There are tons of players who have never gotten a technical foul in a basketball game. Back when I was in high school, if you got a technical foul, you were sitting your ass on the bench. Maybe he needed that from his high school coach because Tom Izzo sure as hell didn't clean that crap up. It's one thing to be passionate and, and, and all that stuff when it comes to your sport and your profession and bring, the, bring your best effort and energy. Absolutely. But when you're getting technical fouls and giving the team free throws, getting thrown at it, he's been ejected from 20 games already in his career. 20 games? He probably should have been ejected from a number more that he got away with. He's talking, about, he's talking about fines. The fines, to me, don't make sense. When you talk about as hard as we work to accumulate wealth coming from situations that most people never make it out, and then you get fined the way we get fined, it's actually not set up for us to be wealthy after we're done playing. This job is not set up the way we're taxed, the way we're fined. If I do something wrong, I lose $100,000. It took my mom four years when I was growing up to make $100,000. And I lose that in a night because what? The referee got mad at me and he didn't like what I had to say to him. So I lose $5,000 like that, like on a tech. Let me tell you something, Draymond Green. You are deluded. You are absolutely freaking deluded. The fact that you would mention your mother making a hundred grand over four years should make you actually respect the fact that it's hard as fuck for people to make money in this country. And then you are beyond blessed. You are a blessed human being. I don't doubt the hard work you've put in to become a pro athlete. You were a four year player at Michigan state. 
You've been in the NBA for upwards of a decade. You've been blessed. At the end of your current contract, which is probably the end of your career, you will have made $255 million. <clears throat> and you are sitting here talking about how the system is not made for you to become wealthy or to retain your wealth. Well, how about you actually invest your money properly the way any person who makes money does? You make so much money for very little production, but you make a boatload of bread and you're sitting here talking about how much money your mother made while not respecting the fact that it's your own fault that you get these fines. The referee's not mad at you. You act like a child. You act like a freaking petulant child having a temper tantrum. And you draw technical fouls at a level that no one else in the league draws. No one else in the league to this in, in this current game has been ejected as many times as you have. And you continue to do it. Game after game after game. You've been suspended four times in a year. And you cannot control yourself on a basketball court. You have this inability to walk away. And you blame the NBA for fining you? You know what happens to people who go to work and scream at their bosses or scream at people who are colleagues? Because, yes, officials are colleagues of players. You lose your job usually because this shit's not tolerated. NBA players get more leeway and rope than any employee at any business anywhere on the planet. You can't get away with screaming at officials who are refing your game and berating them and undressing them and saying they're mad at you. No, you're a disrespectful fuck and you have no respect for the game. And you act like a fucking brat. And you're talking about the NBA's taking money? Bro, you will have made a quarter billion dollars playing basketball. So you have taxes that are high. Oh, cry me a river. Maybe you don't need a $15 million house. Maybe you don't need six cars. Maybe you don't need all that extra crap that is always bought by professional athletes. $50,000 chains, $100,000 watches. You don't need that. You know how you maintain wealth? By not spending every dollar you got. It ain't the fines. It's your spending habits if you're not able to maintain wealth. Luckily for you, Draymond, you're probably going to be on TV. As embarrassing that is that, as that is. While you insult players left and right. And have audacity to say that a player that's currently in the league. Sucks on TNT. And you think that's okay. And you also called out Jurkic recently. The same guy that you, you clean, you sucker punch to the head. You need help, dude, because you're in a land of delusion when you're sitting here talking about how the league is not made for you to make money and retain wealth. You know how you avoid losing money in fines and texts? Just play basketball. Don't bitch and complain after every freaking call that happens in a game. I've never seen Draymond Green not complain about a call. It never happens. He's always complaining. No matter what the call is, he complains. You got fined and suspended for stomping on someone's chest. You got fined and suspended for chokeholding someone. You got fined and suspended for punching somebody. You got fined and suspended for punching a teammate, or maybe you just suspended by your team. Over and over and over and over again, Draymond Green is in some bullshit. And he's going to complain about how the league is not made for him to keep money. No, my guy, you're the reason you can't keep money. 
you can't get out of your own damn way. And if you want to be real, the reason the Golden State Warriors did not get anywhere in the playoffs this year is because your dumbass was suspended for like 15, 20 games. You cost the Warriors that. You did. The NBA did not cost the Warriors that. The NBA did not cost you money. You did by your behavior. So grow the freaking hell up. You're too old to be acting like a child. But I expect nothing less from Draymond Green because this is who he is. This is who he is. He is a petulant, crybaby brat. Might be a great guy personally, but as a basketball player, as anyone who talks about basketball, he's a brat. He's a crybaby. That's all I got. What are your thoughts on Draymond Green's comments on how fines prevent players from retaining wealth? Yes, for some, it might, which is why they don't commit these technical fouls, which is why they don't get suspended. You get suspended because of your behavior. So leave a comment. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us at Come On Now Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and, and TikTok, and at Come On Now Pod on X Twitter. And of course, be sure to follow, subscribe, and like our, our uh, YouTube channel, share our posts, share our videos, and we'll see you on the other side. Have a good one. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel. Thank <laughs> you.